Good, how are you guys? We're great. Welcome to Club Tattoo. My name is Amelia Rose Whitney. I've been tattooing for 10 years and I specialize in watercolor tattoos. I love being unique and original and watercolor is an amazing style where it allows me to create a painting. It's kind of the root of who I am as an artist. I knew I wanted to tattoo since like middle school. I graduated from college and then shortly after I got pregnant with my daughter. When she was one, I basically got like all my portfolios from college. Found a shop, her and I went in, pushed her in a little stroller. It's like, do you guys need an apprentice? Oh, Dude, the ball's on you. <laughs> and I could see like that I wanted to have a future, you know? Yeah. That's one of the most amazing tattoo beginning stories I've ever heard. That's pretty badass, dude. <laughs> We're really excited to see you compete. I'm ready. I'm Tony Olvera. I've been tattooing 15 years. I do black and gray, I'm known for it, but I can do any style that walks through the door. Growing up, I never thought I could make a living with my art. Never give up. Do what you want to do. Make things happen. How's it going? I know who you are. Yeah, yeah, some familiar faces in here. You know him? Yeah, Tony. When I was a BB tattooer, I looked up to you. No joke. He's a solid black and gray artist. Ooh, I'm excited now. Hopefully I can live up to your expectations of me. I came here for three reasons. In the last three years, I lost my mentor, my best friend I opened my shop with, and my cousin Ray, who kind of showed me the industry. Then this is my whole thing to like uh, do it for them. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. You have a lot of pressure on you. I'm ready for it. Pressure makes diamonds. There you go. I am Don Don Hernandez, and I've been tattooing just over four years. I am known for big, bold, unusual tattoos. People do not like me because I'm young, and I give no <laughs> but the more waves I make, the more people know me. Hey. What's up, ladies? Oh, hey there. How's it going? What's up, guys? I'm Don Don. Guy's so nice, you gotta say his name twice. I'm 24 years old. I opened up my own shop as well. You opened up um, a shop at 24? I did, correct. A lot of people tell me I can't do it. I just don't care. I want to do my own thing. Whatever people want to think about my personality or whatnot has nothing to do with my tattoos. I'll have to show you guys. All right, let's get this thing started. All right, here's how the competition is going to go. There's going to be two elimination tattoos, and one of you is going to be eliminated each round. You guys ready? I'm ready. Born ready. Whoever makes it through that is going to face off against one of us angels. I'm ready to go against any one of you guys. Wow. We'll see. So the angel that one of you guys is going to face off against is... Kelly Doty. Oh, no. <laughs> Hi. That's not easy. And you thought the desert was the only tragic wasteland from which there's no escape. <laughs> She's a tough competitor to beat. But if one of you can beat Kelly, you're going to earn a spot on Ink Master. And you're going to have the chance to win $100,000. That is huge. Wow. All right. You like the sound of that? I do. All right, so let's get this started. You want to hear about your first elimination tattoo? Yes. Well, I hope you guys' skills are as sharp as you say they are, because today you're going to be tattooing cactus tattoos. All right. You have to be able to nail a cactus if you're from Arizona. You shouldn't nail a cactus. That's going to leave a scar. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that. You're going to have two hours to do your cactus tattoo in any style, but we're judging you on shading outline, style, and application. For one of you, this is gonna be your last chance to show us what you can do because one of you is gonna be eliminated today. Not me. Bye-bye, Tony. <laughs> Not me. Your canvases have all been randomly assigned and they are completely open. Go set up and we'll send them in. Let's do it. All right, artists, you are going to have two hours to do cactus tattoos, any style, and your time starts now. It's going to seem like I'm doing a crazy amount of color. It's going to be a hint of several. You can't swing a dead cat in Phoenix and not see a cactus, man. I was like, it was meant for the spot. I want to see all the different textures in it. I want to see all the bumps. I want to see the needles, all the ridges. If these artists skimp on the details, I'm going to end up seeing a green hairbrush. And I don't want to see that. Yep. So I'm definitely that artist that I like. Everything I do is very last minute. I had no idea how I'm gonna shade this. I had no idea how I'm gonna color it. That's what makes it a better tattoo. You know, you're just kind of going for it. Doing more than just a cactus is a risk, but I'm willing to take that risk. 
because I know what I'm capable of doing. Are you literally just freehanding those perfectly horizontal lines in there? <laughs> yeah, I lost the stencil, so I just got to freehand it. That's pretty ballsy. That's one thing I will say I'm confident in. This is blowing my mind. I grew up in foster care all my life. I have no family. A lot of people didn't think I was gonna be a good tattooer, yet alone open my own shop and be a successful business. I'm just here to prove that all the pain and hard work was all worth it in the end. I didn't need anyone else. I don't know how they're gonna beat me when the lines are that perfect. I can't concentrate while you're talking. You might want to make sure you color in the lines. Well, I'm doing watercolor, so I don't need to worry about that. I don't know, maybe the person who chooses the winner is a 12-year-old. Might like the watercolor. I definitely have a job to do to prove to everyone that watercolor can be bold and bright and amazing. There's a lot on the line here for me. Let's see if it's a good height. OK. I'm going to win, and you're going to lose. All right, we'll see. I'm pretty good at winning. You know, I want my daughter to know you can do anything you want to do. Like, look at me, you know? I went from tattooing pregnant out of my studio apartment to maybe being on Ink Master, and that's amazing. A watercolor with a lot of black, huh? Yes. Good girl. Good on you. Yay. Yeah. Left. You gonna have enough time to finish that big old tattoo over there? Pretty sure. <laughs> Sound real confident. <laughs> I'm putting a lot of elements in this tattoo because I want to show what I'm capable of. I got the cactus run, I got the flower, and then I'll create a scene. I had another design that was a lot more detailed than this. Really? Yeah. This I... is you toning it down? Yeah. <laughs> Growing up, I was trying to avoid the gangs and a lot of the violence around me. Focusing on my art led up to where I'm at today. I have a lot of big plans. Trying to do something with kids and like a youth program where like they can do after school programs and stuff with art. And I mean, it'll keep them out of trouble. And like, you know, there was an opportunity like that when I was younger. I think what you're doing is pretty awesome. Art's definitely what saved my life. Look at the amount he's gotten done just since we've been standing here. That is I mean, entirely foreign to me, just moving quickly and efficiently. That's 15 years of experience. I ain't scared. All right, five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Stop tattooing. It did turn out better than I imagined. I think it was amazing. You all done? I am. Are you? Yep. All right, well, I guess we'll just have to see if this tattoo will do. I think there are three good tattoos. There are some really good moments happening in Tony's tattoo. The way that the big negative space circle contrasts against the texture of the bird's head, mm -hmm. that's really pretty. But I feel like he had an opportunity to use the line work to make certain things in high def. He doesn't have any line work in that tattoo, and that's a problem. With Amelia, that line work is really crispy. I had a problem that all she used is simply line work. I loved Amelia's tattoo. She's my winner. Are you kidding me? Not even a little. There's no shading. There's lovely shading. Her blending is super smooth. Blending what? She blends her colors into skin tone. When we talk about shading who did it right today, it's Don Don. I really love Don Don's pepper shading. I hate Don Don's color what theory. What color theory? Exactly. He just threw every color available into that tattoo, and I have no idea what I'm supposed to be looking at. Good luck judging this, because I am not budging. I'm an only child. I'm incredibly stubborn. Mine was the best tattoo, hands down. You could have done that tattoo in an hour. You're not going to just slide on by with the simplest thing you possibly can. Yours was just way too much going on in one little space. I showed that I can do lines. I showed that I could pack color. I showed that my shading was smooth. End of story. Hey, you killer cacti. Why don't you come on over here? All right, guys, how do we think we did? 
won. You think you won? I did all what was required in the challenge. Bottom line, the drawing was bad. I think she did the bare minimum. Lines were inconsistent. Honestly, we didn't have a problem with Amelia's lines. There was a lack of shading. With watercolor tattoos, a lot of the time, the color is so soft and so lightly blended that over time, his tattoo is probably going to be there a lot more than some of the colors in yours. Dandan, I loved your design, and that's why it hurt me so gosh damn bad when you went in there with every color imaginable. If you pulled back a little bit, it would have been more readable. I can understand that. I'm just wondering which of these two are going home. Tony, I love the juxtaposition of the flower and the bird. Your design was lovely, but there are some cleanliness issues that we're looking at as far as the lack of line work. There were three great tattoos done today. That being said, unfortunately, one of you was going to be eliminated. We have decided that the artist that is going to be eliminated today is...